Yo, what is happening, guys? On the Speed of Vlogs here, and today we're back. Um, we're gonna be doing another reaction video, and like I done with the last one, I reacted to Strange Addictions, uh, a guy that literally had a sexual obsession and attraction to balloons. That was quite the video. That was that was quite the. It's not even quite the video to make. That was quite the video to watch, and uh, yes, yeah, so we're back with something. The Kind of similar, yeah, not really. Kind of similar, it's a reaction video that's half similar anyway. And uh, basically, Kitchen Nightmares everyone knows Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon Ramsay, you know him, whether you love him, you hate him, you love to hate him, whatever. You think he's a cheeky cunt, you think he's helpful, you know him. And basically, I was actually going see Kitchen Nightmares, I'm subscribed to their YouTube channel, and they uploaded six days ago. With a title called That's Beef, It Looks Like Canned Dog Food. And I was going to react to that one. And I went on today. And there's one that says Gordon Witnesses Hilarious Argument Over Microwave Lamb. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to react to That's Beef, It Looks Like Canned Dog Food. The one that was six days ago. And uh, well six, seven days ago. I'm going to upload that today. And then the argument over the lamb. I'm going to upload. No, no, no. Monday next week. I'll upload on Friday. Because all of next week is literally the week where I post every single day with... I only have five videos that people commented. If I can't get seven, then I will just choose two videos that I think you will enjoy. Or just an idea, like, probably, if I don't get on the Saturday, I'll probably do a podcast. But yeah, so let's get straight into it. Um, I love Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon Ramsay, so... Let's go for it. My food is good. My food is very good. So, uh, what would you recommend for lunch? My lasagna is homemade. All this is fresh, right? Yes, everything else is fresh. If it's not fresh, we don't sell it. The soup of the day is a... It's a, a wedding soup. It consists of vegetables and little mini meatballs. It's really nice. Actually, the best balls in town. It's awesome. I love Gordon Ramsay's face. He never goes to the, the best balls in town. Gordon Ramsay's looked away. Like, yeah, they say that every time. They always say, oh, we have the best this. We have the best this. It always turns out to be shit. And the worst, probably, in there. <laughs> okay. When Chef Ramsay sat down, the first thing I thought, man, this guy's going to be surprised. He's definitely going to do some kind of cartwheels after he eats his food. So, he's got he's a few items. Yeah, you, you hope that. You always hope that. And he never does. <laughs> I think I've only ever seen Gordon Ramsay go to a restaurant and actually like the food once. Like, literally like the food to the point he's like, you're doing a great job. Um, with the, the food's amazing, now he didn't change it. I'm not joking, I've only seen it once and I've watched a lot of episodes of it, so. Hey, uh, I'm going to try the lasagna, because homemade. Mm -hmm. And then finally I'll finish up with a New York strip. How do you want that cooked? Mid-rare. Steak rare. Steak rare, excuse me, please. And how long have you been here, David? Three years. Three years. Wow. Did you put his order? Okay. Did you put his order in so he can... I'm talking to him. I just want to make sure you take care of him. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay, so why does he interrupt you like that? Uh, I... Sometimes I'm in the middle, I'm giving like specials. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I, I gotta uh, bring Dave in the. I'm like, damn. I'm talking to the, the people, they feel like, what's the matter with him? Gosh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. Sam. And he's already not impressed. Yeah, he's already not impressed with not just not the food, but the manager. <laughs> oh, yeah. He got no manners. I mean, I've realized actually half the time, um, it's half the time, it's not even the food's the main problem, it's the manager just being ignorant and thinking he's amazing or she's thinking she's amazing. That's usually the problem, actually. Well, that was quick. Thank you. Sure. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's hideous. Like a mishmash of bits of shit put together and brought to the ball. <laughs> She wasn't gonna like. It. What do you say? It's like bits of shit, bits of shit, just put together. <laughs> I knew he wasn't gonna fucking like it. And anemic grey meatballs in there. Mm. How was your soup? Yeah, that's a wedding soup. That's to get him in the mood to get married. Jesus, I'd rather get fucking divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I need to listen to that again. Just one last time. How was your suit? <laughs> yeah. That's the wedding suit? That's to get him in the mood to get married. Jesus. 
I'd rather get fucking divorced. Oh my god. And that's because, oh my god. <laughs> I can't. Oh, it's like, it literally doesn't sound like it's real. It just sounds like the whole thing's set up because Gordon Ramsay always has the perfect comebacks that just makes everything that much better. I made lasagna. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Someone drop it. Jesus. Jesus Christ, it just looks like... Yeah, it actually does look like someone just dropped it and stomped on it. It's a tough steak. Not seasoned. Greasy. The food is consistent. Consistently poor. So the thing is, if I ate that, I'd probably be like, oh, this is actually quite decent. And there's just Gordon Ramsay. It could literally melt in your mouth. He's like, this is shit. <laughs> Make another one. It'll listen. Having had a good taste of some bad dishes, Gordon heads to the kitchen to meet with Sammy and head chef Jose. Hey, guys. How you doing? Let's go through it together, shall we? Yeah? Soup was hideous. He doesn't even, like... I didn't really like the soup. It was very poor. It's just it was shit. It was hideous, and just, the chef's face—he's so insulted. Like, excuse me, what? The soup has been like uh, three days with me. Yeah, three days with you. Yeah, it tasted like it. It tasted disgusting, bland, and everything was cooked to fuck. The lasagna. Let's quickly go on to that. That was unique, uniquely shit. That's homemade. Where is it? Tom, where is it? is over there. Yeah. Can you get me a portion? Why was it dry in the middle? Was it sauce? Sure. So, we proportion it, we cut them. That's it's frozen. He it says, it yeah. says it's frozen. How old is that? That's the lasagna I made the last week of Friday. We made you freeze lasagna, that just makes it... If you make the lasagna there and then, it's so much better. Why do you freeze lasagna? Why? We freeze lasagna at a time, and then we proportion them, and then we freeze them. We right. take some up as we need. Okay, so it's not fresh. That's what I'm trying to say. But does right. it mean it's bad? It, it may, may not mean it's bad, but it means it's not fucking good. Does it mean it's bad? I'm telling you, man. Here's a guy from Scotland. What the fuck's he know about lasagna? Does any chef throw food away if it's... Oh, I hate whenever people call Gordon Ramsay to their restaurant and then they're like, why is he talking shit? What does he know? Well, mate, you called him there for a reason. If you don't think he knows enough, why'd you call him there? Does any chef throw food away if it's not bad? Can't answer that, Mr. Ramsey. Any chef? Yes. Yeah. Hello? You're going to throw it away? Should I answer it or are you going to fucking... No, uh, fucking tell me. Go ahead, uh, fucking tell me. Are you getting upset now? No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. A little bit, maybe. Every not. fucking chef I know makes lasagna fresh every day. When Chef Ramsey started critiquing, telling me all these bad things about my food, I felt like, what is this guy out of his mind? Then the biggest disappointment was the steak. Who buys the steak? That's the toughest steak I've ever eaten. I dropped down on the steaks because my business has dropped. It was a choice steak. It's not my black Angus, you're right. I love the way I you got excuses you. for everything. I couldn't do anything right. I mean, it was amazing. It was very hard for me to swallow. I, cu I couldn't believe it. He said everything I did was wrong. You're very pumped. Well, you gotta expect that. See, when, see, I'm not gonna lie. See if I call Gordon Ramsay come to my restaurant. See if I feel the need to call him. I'm just gonna get ready to get criticized because if I don't feel like my like if I call him, I know that I don't have the confidence in him. So he's just gonna tear it apart and just take down the rest of the confidence I have. So I would just get ready for the criticism if I ever called him. You're very pumped up. I have even thought because I believe we have good stuff. Yeah. Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. I think maybe you walk up uh, on the wrong side of the bed. I get out the same side of the bed every day. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, and that food was bland. I, I can't believe you're telling me my food sucks. I can't believe it. I, I, I honestly think you're out of your fucking mind. It ain't, it ain't, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. I think you're a little too critical, overcritical. The minute you get down off your high horse and start understanding what the fuck's wrong with this place, then we may have something compatible to work with. Are you finished? Are you done? Am I done? I can't believe it. I've just started. Unbelievable. Okay. I'm going to clear my head. I want some, uh, some fucking... I need some fresh air. Yeah. Want me to show you where the door is? Nah, I'll go through that one there. Thanks. I love how he's just trying to piss him off to but he literally goes, right, well there's the door and he goes, right, Gordon Ramsay is basically told me to go out that one, I'm gonna go out that one like, just to piss you off more to prove my point. Like oh. control. Yeah, I think somebody needs to put him in line. I'll tell you something, if a guy to talk like that in front of me like that, I can't believe it. And he's still alive and we didn't shoot him? Fucking kill that guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> now he wants to kill. Oh, that's only a trailer as well. That's not even the full episode. The full episode hasn't came out yet. I'm actually excited for that one. I can't wait for that one to come out. That one looks really good. But yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's good. I'll probably react to, like I said, the next Kesha Nightmares I will upload on Friday. And then all next week uh, will be videos by your choice. Whatever's left over, I will make. I already have them all planned out and I'll record them. Uh, I'll start recording them next week as well, like as I upload them. So one a day for seven days. I'm just realizing I'll do eight days in a row because I'll upload the seven days. It'll end on a Sunday and I'll be uploading again the Monday. So it's technically eight days in a row. But yeah, well, I'll be doing that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be doing more Kitchen Nightmares. Um, if you did, smash the like button, you know. Comment down below if you want me to react to any certain videos. Uh, you know, if you haven't yet already and you enjoy my content, subscribe and turn notifications on to get daily notifications when I upload. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed again one last time. I've been undisputed. And uh, peace.